Hey guys, this is M4Airsoft A1, and today I am doing a review on my Magpul PTS ACR Masada. Uh, it's the A and K version, not the actual Magpul version, but still a great gun, and I'm going to show you everything about it and uh, talk about specs, uh, positives, and uh, pros and cons, and stuff like that. So let's get started. I'm going to change the view of the camera a little bit, the angle. It's kind of bugging me. Okay. Okay, that's better. Okay, let me get the box. So, when you first order the gun, this is the box that will come with you by the ANK version, which I did. Uh, the ANK version is the Magpul version. The Magpul version is a little bit nicer, uh, but the ANK is still a very nice gun. I bought the ANK for the ANK version for 280. The Magpul version, I believe, is like 490. So that's why I got the uh, ANK version. Uh, another reason why I got the ANK version is because I'm trying to make a Ranger loadout in future years. So this is the box that comes in. Uh, as you like, most guns has like the licensing and the like the FPS. Now this isn't like um, accurate. This is supposed to be with like .12, but I never use .12 anyways. Um, it says it shoots uh, .358 with .2. That's uh, around the right like FPS. Uh, someone else chroned it and they said it was like .350. So that's what uh, that's what it is, I guess. Um, here's the outside of the box. It shows a little bit of a gun. Now it comes with the gun, of course, a 300 round make or high cap. Um, what else? It comes with a charger. And but it does not come with a battery. Uh, sorry, that was my phone. The bat it doesn't come with battery. You have to buy your own, or if you have your own small type, it takes a small type. And you just uh, like just put that in there. Okay, so let me get the gun. Uh, one thing about the box is it opens like this instead of opening like a kind of a suitcase version. Um, I like the suitcase kind of version better, but really it's just the box. You know what I mean? Doesn't really matter. Okay, so here's the gun. Uh. Of course, like I said, it's the Magpul PTS ACR Masada by A&K. It has the full, uh, not full, but most, uh, it has the uh, Magpul PTS licensed parts. Um, I'm going to first go over what it's made of. Well, I don't know exactly, but it, what I'm saying, like, I think it's made of. Um, some of the parts I know what they're made of, but other parts, it's cool. I still have to figure out. But uh, about the color. Now, the color for A&K, this is Dark Earth. Uh, kind of looks like OD on camera. Uh, the Dark Earth for um, A&K is a little bit different than the Magpul, uh, uh, what's it called, Dark Earth, called, uh, like, shade. Uh, the Magpul version is a little bit tanner, it's a little bit greener, but it's not, it's way more tan in, pers in person, in uh, person. Again, it looks like OD on camera, but it doesn't look like OD in real life. It has a little greener tint to it, but it is tan. And in the light, it looks more tanner than in the dark, and in the dark, it kind of looks more green. But, going from... Uh, barrel to uh, butt. Um, again, it has like a little. Pla I didn't say this before, but uh, plastic uh, flash hider comes with all the guns. Um, I'm probably gonna put a mock suppressor or a metal flash hider on there. Um, and then going down is the barrel. Uh, it has a metal outsiding, and it looks like to be a copper insiding of the barrel. I do not sure. I'm not sure what the outside's made of, but I'm believing the coppers on the inside of the barrel is made of oh, copper. Um, Keep going. Uh, the frog grip, which is what I call it, I don't know if you guys have a technical term for it, is made of a Magpul PTS, PTS licensed polymer. Um, now to take this off and access the battery area, which is inside the frog grip area, you have to pop this little pin out and slide this up and take out the battery. Um, again, it does not come with the battery, so I put a 9.6 uh, energy in there, I believe, or maybe it was intellect. Um, I have both, so whatever. So, but one thing about it that I love is including the um, ma uh, battery area. There's like very little shaking. It's all very tight. Uh, the whole front grip, including the, like the battery area and the, that whole section, is very tight, and there's like no shaking at all. So uh, that's a pro. There's like more realistic and more like durable and stable. Um, little one con about that is it's a little bit hard to get the battery in there and out of there. Uh, with practice, of course, and more time doing it, uh, becomes easier. Okay, going down. The frontal, or not the frontal, sorry, the upper receiver is made of metal. I'm not sure what type of metal. Uh, feels like a steel, but, again, not sure. Um, one positive thing about this whole gun is it's completely ambidextrous. It has a firing switch on both sides, and has a mag release on both sides. One awesome thing about this gun, uh, again, ambidextrous, so you can, uh, the... I guess you can call it, like, the bolt, uh, the, I don't know, uh, like, the thing to cock back the bolt. 
Um, I don't know, don't know the technical term. I, I do, but I can't get it off my head. Uh, but one thing I love about it, it has a functioning bolt catch. And again, it's ambidextrous for the bolt release. And you just put that on both sides. Um, when opening this thing, you can enter the hop up. The hop up is made of plastic, which is a little bit concerning, but I might switch that out for a metal one. Keep going. The lower receiver is made of like a very strong polymer. Um, and then it feels like it has like steel on the inside or some type of metal and then like a polymer covering. Okay, um, the on top of the upper receiver it comes with this like black uh, iron sight flip up. I don't like it, so I'm gonna put a red dot on there. I'm probably gonna get a darker earth red dot so I don't have to paint it. Uh, it tries to be as realistic as possible by like changing like the elevation, but it really doesn't really matter. The frontal sight is also pop up. Uh, it's metal, but it's kind of a crappier metal. Though I'm not going to use it when I get my red dot, so it doesn't matter. And when you put it down, it's actually very flush with the uh, rail. Sorry. Uh, one thing about the front grip, you can actually ex uh, exchange this one out for a rail system, uh, like an IRS 9 pole version, which I was thinking about doing to put like a foregrip on there and maybe some tactical stuff, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. Moving back, the trigger is made of metal, and it's very nice, and the whole hand grip is very comfy. Uh, but moving back to the stock. Now, I believe it's a six-point stock. I haven't counted it. There you go. And it locks in place. One thing that's negative about the stock and negative about the whole gun is that I my sling, my one-point sling, does not fit in the stocks thing. And slings that do fit, when this, like, it's there, um, it's working right now. But after a while, I've moved this back and forth. Um, some people have said that the sling will actually pull the stock all the way out which is a negative. I haven't had that problem yet, but some people say over time it will happen. One great thing about the uh, sock is there is a adjustable cheek rest. Just slide it back and pop it up and you pop it in its place, but I don't have that, so I just keep it down. Uh, that's very like tight inside the gun. And then you can also, it's a uh, breakable stock, or some people call it breakable or foldable. Uh, people say this is good for CQB, but uh, it's, not even, it's not even supposed to be for CQB, it's supposed to be for traveling. Um, but Whatever. I don't use it for CQB. I always have a stock out. I actually usually have my stock like this during the field. And um, when I'm in CQB, I have a stock shut. Sorry, that was my sister asking me a question. Um, that's basically it on the gun. I achieved about 350 FPS. Very accurate. Um, for about 110, 120 feet. After that, it gets a little, uh, a little shaky. Um, with the wind, of course, when I'm shooting point twos, when I'm shooting point uh, two fives, it goes more accurate for longer distance, but the FPS, of course, is lower. So for field, I use point two five to get that accuracy, and then for CQB, I'll use that point two, um, which still shoots uh, the legal limit at th uh, 350 FPS, but is a little stronger. Um, pros, I definitely would buy it. It's a great version of Masada, the ANK um, version. It's cheaper than the Magpul version, so that's also a positive, especially when you're trying to make a new loadout like I am, a uh, range loadout. So I would definitely buy this gun. Uh, here's the mag so you guys see what the mag looks like. Uh, it's the a &K version of the Magpul mag. Um, it's not the actual Magpul version. Um, it's not bad. Beads well. Uh, so you guys can see what it looks like. Let me put the frontal sights up so you guys can see what it looks like from the front. Again, I'm putting a red dot scope on this. Um, sorry about that, and that's it for the gun review, I'll do a shooting review probably tomorrow, I'll put that up, uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, actually I'm not done yet, I have to show you a couple things for updates, I have, I took off my patches on my arms, because some guys have been complaining, some, not some one person, but a couple people have been complaining that since I haven't earned those patches, I shouldn't wear them. Now, I do still kind of wear this on my course because it's just me and my buddies playing. Uh, it's, those patches kind of represent a goal that I have. But uh, since my grandfather did fight in Vietnam and he was a captain, so I still wear this during games to represent him. Um, and hopefully later represent myself. Um, some updates. Let me grab some gear real quick that I got. Uh, just a couple patches. Um, IR. This is the elephant, like a real version that actually works. The IR uh, reverse flag patch which will be going on my multicam jacket. I'm getting the multicam uh, multi combat shirt, the one that the Army actually uses, the Ma Mathis version, which is um, 
uh, flame like flame resistant along with the jacket that's flame resistant and issued. And this will go on probably on the jacket. I'll probably buy another one for the uh, combat shirt. And then I got two Captain Patches multicam uh, for both the combat shirt and the uh, regular uh, blouse. So um, that's it for the video. I don't think I have anything else to show you. Let me put these away real quick. I am buying my Ranger loadout gear for the play carrier, my EPC, and all the pouches. I think I'm going to go more modern with the khaki EPC and then all the Ranger pouches. And I'm actually going to get a multicam dump pouch. Uh, I see you guys, all the Rangers in real life, running uh, the, the khaki EPCs. Or actually, the newer play carriers that they wear is a version between the Eagle Industries and like Allied. And they kind of like, it's kind of a mixture kind of play carrier. Um... But I'm having buying EPC. It's a little bit cheaper, still expensive, and a nice play carrier. But I'm getting EPC. I'll buy it in khaki. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, and then I'll be getting Ranger Green pouches. Um, most of them Eagle, uh, some of them Pantech, and a couple uh, either Allied or some other company. And then I'm probably gonna get a Multicam dump pouch for that because uh, I see you guys wearing like Multicam pouches. But I want all Ranger Green pouches. And then I'm, so I just got the Multicam dump pouch to kind of even that out. Um, that, that'll be probably coming in around March 30th. Um, that looks to be it. <coughs> Again, I'll be doing my videos tomorrow for the uh, shooting review. Um, and my multi-cam uniform will be in around April 15th, April 20th, sometime around that area. And I'll, so for a little bit, just a little bit, I'll be using my Ranger loadout with uh, the old ACUs. Which won't look right because they wear khaki during the ACU time, but whatever. Um, I'll just wait. I'll just kind of. I'm slowly kind of building. Uh, sorry, buying my multicam stuff. Another thing. One sec. Is I'm trying to get the Ranger Magpul floor uh, floor plates. Um, I saw them online. Sorry. Uh, but I'm kind of nervous about them. Because uh, I'm trying to find them on eBay, but uh, the real versions of the actual P mags. I have this little thing right here, but it's actually like a spring. You push that down and put the floor plate on. But the airsoft version, it kind of just clicks in. So I'm trying to find the uh, airsoft version of the floor plates for the Ranger ones. Um, I don't know if Magpul's ones that they actually use on the real guns also work for airsoft. So I'm trying to figure that out. Um, I was going to buy actual ballistic plates for the EPC. But then I found uh, some Pantech replica plastic ones. So it'll still work. I don't think I'm going to need those ballistic ones anytime soon. So um, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Please comment, rate, subscribe.